Ford West, and um, we, we're here today because we received a SARE grant, which we are very appreciative of. And what we're going to be doing is go going to be demonstrating what, uh, what the SARE grant um, was able to provide for us. Well, the red maple is a byproduct of a lot of logging operations here in Wisconsin. And so we wanted to do the study to see if it would make a good alternative for shiitake mushrooms. So our part of the study is what would a small scale grower do versus our partner um, who is Field and Forest that's a commercial operation. So they are doing, and I'll, I can show you the paperwork, they're doing 20 logs of red maple fall harvest through the winter till uh, the first um, sap flow. So, um, so every two weeks they were harvesting 20 logs and inoculating them two weeks later. So that's our, one of our controls. Um, this was our other control. So we've got um, each pile is a different species of wood. So we actually um, took 25 logs of each because what we found is in our logs from last year is that there's, you know, there's a little bit of variability in size. There's also variability in um, the quality of the wood. So we wanted to have a bigger um, spread of, of possible woods. And so each pile we did red oak and white oak, which oak is the preferred wood for shiitakes to grow on. We also did, the and the grant itself was the red maple fall harvest, spring harvest, so once the sap is flowing in the wood. And then we did, um, just for our own um, you know, curiosity too, we did an aspen, we did a hickory, and we did a sugar maple. So we're, we actually tried to have a bigger variety of, of uh, woods to look at. Basically what we have in our forest, we wanted to see if we could, could do that. So, so these were inoculated and we, like I said, the fall harvest was done um, in December. The spring harvest was done about February um, when the sap first started to flow in the, in the wood. Um, and then we tried to do as much of the inoculation, um, you know, every Saturday for a couple of weeks, um, weather dependent, um, so that we tried to get it as close to what a normal small scale grower would do. Um, a small scale grower is about 500 logs. This one's already been pre-drilled, but I'll just show you. We, one of the tools that we recommend that you use, and um, also Field and Forest, who's our partner in the SARE proposal, also uh, uses these. It's an angle iron uh, grinder with a adapted bit, and it makes the job so much faster. These are the hypodermics and you just pretty much put them here. You put them over the hole and you get a, a plug. So, and then after we've done all of those to that, then we would move it to the next station. So we just use a little crock pot, warm it up, and then we're just covering the holes. 